everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Jen. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hey, Colin. What kind of shows are you watching recently? 最近有在看什么剧呢 Schmigadoon. It's pretty good. Schmigadoon. I've never heard of this name before. What's it about? 这部剧是讲什么呢 Well, it's an American musical comedy television series. Musical comedy, 那就是音乐喜剧片。那剧中的人物会不会一言不合就开始唱歌跳舞 ？People in the show would just burst into songs all of a sudden, just like Indian Bollywood movies, right? Yeah, exactly. Shmigadoon is a magical town. When you watch it, you'll know what it's like to get trapped in a golden age style musical. Go watch it. I think you'll really love it. Well, I think it definitely sounds like my type of show. So, Jen, how about you? Are you watching anything interesting recently? Ah, 有的有的。我最近啊，就对网飞出的几个剧就还挺上瘾的。嗯、mm, ，Let me guess, reality show? Yeah, you got it right. 对，就是真人秀。在英文当中呢，就叫做 reality show， 或者是 reality television。Yeah, it's a genre of television programming that documents purportedly unscripted real-life situations, often starring unknown individuals rather than professional actors. 对，很多真人秀呢都是素人上节目，比如说《Love Is Blind》、《Too Hot to Handle》。不过我最近看的一个真人秀却是明星来出演的。嗯、mm, well, ，What's it called? Well, it's called Cooking with Paris. Paris? You mean Paris Hilton? Yeah, that's her. And she cooks. <laughs> I can't even picture her in a kitchen. Well, now she does have a reality cooking show. I would say watch it for a laugh, but don't expect to learn much about cooking. 我觉得看她这个真人秀啊，就真的别期待可以学到什么烹饪技巧。不过当成喜剧看还是蛮好的。It's more of a comedy to me. <laughs> okay. Well, that sounds interesting. Why don't we talk about this show on today's podcast? Sure. 那在今天的节目当中呢，我们今天呢就来聊一聊帕里斯希尔顿的真人烹饪秀《Cooking with Paris》。Okay, so let's start with Paris Hilton. Maybe younger listeners here are not so familiar with her. Yeah, well, she's a great granddaughter of Conrad Hilton, the founder of the Hilton Hotels. 她就是著名希尔顿酒店集团的继承人之一。我觉得在她身上最重要的标识之一呢，就是社交名媛 ，a socialite。Yeah, a person who is well known in fashionable society and is fond of social activities and entertainment. 对，帕里斯希尔顿也算是真人秀的鼻祖了。两千年初的时候呢，他参与的真人名媛秀《The Simple Life》就大获成功。So, Colin, speaking of her, what's your impression of Paris Hilton? <laughs> Not good. I, I think she's spoiled and an attention seeker, always craving attention from the public. Yeah. Attention seeker 这个词呢，就是用来形容那些想尽办法、用尽办法来吸引别人的注意，为了获得关注而不择手段的人。Yeah, I agree. Paris Hilton is attention seeker. After 20 years, she's still trying to stay relevant. So I'm wondering, why do people find her cooking show entertaining? 你能想象穿着晚礼服下厨房吗 ？Even if she's shopping in the supermarket or cooking the kitchen, she's dressed to the nines. That's a really good phrase right there. Dressed to the nines. It means to be dressed flamboyantly or smartly. 对 ，to the nines 在英文当中呢，就意味着完美 ，to perfection or to the highest degree. 在节目当中呢，帕里斯希尔顿每集出场的时候，她就穿着超级奢华艳丽的晚礼裙和华服。Literally, she dressed like a Barbie doll all the time. Well, that's not too hard to picture on Paris. It's totally her style. Everything she does is over the top. 对 ，over the top 也是一个非常地道的英文表达，就是说做什么事情非常的夸张浮夸。Over 是在什么什么之上 ，the top 表示最高点，所以 over the top 连起来呢就是超过了最高点。那这个固定表达就是表示太过分、太夸张了。Yeah, to an excessive or exaggerated degree. Yeah, she is almost always wearing sleeving gloves even when she's cooking. Uh, what? Wait, what? What gloves? Sleeving, sleeving gloves. 我觉得可以理解成是逆天手套吧。Okay, that that that's one I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard of this word sleeving before. Yeah, that's because it is a word created by Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> 那这个词呢，其实就是帕里斯希尔顿自创的一个词。Okay, so what does it mean? Well, sleeving is a mixed word. 
它其实是一个合成词 ，it's slaying mixed with living my best life. Ah, I see. Now that makes sense. Slay means to succeed in something amazing. 对 ，slay 这个单词，它本意是杀死的意思，但是在俚语当中呢，这个词就是表示特别好、特别成功 ，living the best life， 表示过得最棒的生活。那这两个部分呢，组成 slaying 这个单词，就表示 glamorously successful, self-empowered, and fulfilled. So now I'm wondering, what do her、um, sliving gloves look like? Well, they are not cooking gloves for sure. Instead, they are lacy or bejeweled fingerless gloves. 那所谓的 sliving gloves， 实际上呢，就是指的那种装饰特别繁复的蕾丝五指手套。Don't they constantly get smeared with whatever she's making? 对啊，她在节目当中做菜的时候，就经常把她精致的手套给弄脏。那 Colin 刚刚提到的这个 smear 这个单词呢，就是表示弄脏、有污渍的意思。Yeah, coat or mark something messily or carelessly with a greasy or sticky substance. 对，不过除了这个意思呢 ，smear 这个单词还可以表示污蔑 ，damage the reputation of someone by false accusation, slander. Right. I think it's annoying enough to see someone cooking with gloves already, and to see she gets her gloves smeared and sticky all the time would probably drive me nuts. Well, actually, Paris herself seemed annoyed by this also, though she claims to the camera that they make cooking more fun. 虽然她的手套被弄脏的时候呢，也会显得非常烦，但是她总说这些 sleeping gloves 让烹饪更加的有趣。Okay, maybe for her, but、uh, definitely not for me to watch. <laughs> So, except for the way she dresses, what else do you find over the top? Well, her tableware for sure. The spatula she uses is covered in crystals. 她用的锅铲都镶满了钻石，特别的华丽。Crystals, and she actually uses that to cook. Yeah, I know, right? Watching her cooking with that spatula gives me so much anxiety because I just worry that the crystals would melt in the pan. 每次看他用那个锅铲的时候，我就要担心上面的水钻会不会掉下来融到锅里面。Okay, so、uh, I don't understand the point of this show. Well, in general, it's still kind of fun to watch her making mistakes while cooking, and you know, it's always her guests who helps and solve the mess. 那其实这种烹饪节目其实就是让大家看个热闹，看个开心嘛。不过呢，虽然他在节目当中看起来下厨房的时候非常的笨拙 ，very clumsy， 但是我觉得他做的特别聪明的一点呢，就是他非常善于利用话题带来的热度来做生意。Yeah, after all, business runs in her blood. 没错，那今天的节目呢，我们就到这里了。Thanks for listening, everyone. This is Colin. This is Jen. See you next time. Bye. This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。